Nine months from now, you can bet there's gonna be a wave of newborn babies in Argentina named Lionel. And for good reason. With a tour de force performance in the 2022 World Cup final, soccer legend Lionel Messi powered Argentina to their first World Cup title in 36 years, capping an unforgettable tournament for the 35-year-old and putting a proverbial feather in the cap of one of the most iconic soccer players in history. But what does this mean for Messi's already remarkable legacy? Let's break it down. Sit back, relax, and take this in. For nearly two decades now, Messi's been putting together a resume that's virtually unrivaled. A deaf playmaker with uncanny finishing ability, Messi made his pro debut at the age of 17, quickly became one of the most electrifying talents in the game, and eventually solidified himself as one of the most prodigious attackers in soccer history. Across his indelible 17-year run with La Liga's Barcelona, Messi practically rewrote the club and league record books and essentially became the standard of greatness in European soccer. No player in history has won the Ballon d'Or more times than Messi, who took home soccer's most prestigious individual award a whopping seven times. Messi also has a record six European golden boots, which is given out annually to the leading scorer throughout Europe's top leagues. And as you might expect, his otherworldly talent has led to a lot of team success. With Messi leading the way, Barcelona won 10 La Liga titles, another seven Copa del Rey titles, Spain's version of the FA Cup, plus four UEFA Champions League titles, which is given out to the best team in all of Europe. Along the way, Messi also electrified on the international circuit, becoming one of the most prolific goal scorers in international history while representing his home country at various tournaments. To date, he sits third on the all-time international scoring leaderboard and holds the record for the most international goals by a South American male. Long story short, Messi's been flirting with GOAT status for ages, and in many people's estimation, he's been the GOAT for years. Still, as Messi headed into the twilight of his career, the most coveted international prize eluded him. As dominant as Messi had been for Argentina over the years, he and his countrymen came up empty in his first four trips to the World Cup, getting eliminated in the quarterfinals in 2006 and 2010, losing to Germany in agonizing fashion in the 2014 final, then suffering their earliest tournament exit of Messi's career in 2018. And while it would have been a gross over-exaggeration to call that one unchecked box a stain on Messi's legacy, it's also a fact that World Cup glory played an outsized role in shaping the legacies of some of soccer's most enduring, most transcendent figures. Pelé, Zidane, Maradona, their triumphs on the biggest stage in the world are a big part of the reason why their names are so well known today, particularly in North America. But Messi never enjoyed a capital M moment like that, and the 2022 World Cup ostensibly represented his last kick at the camp. He said both before and throughout the tournament that Qatar would be his fifth and final World Cup. This time around, however, unlike in previous tournaments, Argentina wasn't quite the juggernaut they had been. They were still one of the stronger teams, don't get me wrong, but their hopes also rested on a 35-year-old Messi whose production has tapered off considerably since he left Barcelona for Paris Saint-Germain back in 2021. Well, spoiler alert, it worked out. Messi put Argentina on his back in Qatar, scoring multiple group stage goals to propel his country into the knockout stage and save them from disaster following their shocking loss to Saudi Arabia in their tournament opener. Messi then delivered a goal in each round of the knockout stage, carrying Argentina past Australia, the Netherlands and Croatia to set up a heavyweight bout against France for the championship. And as it turned out, Messi saved his best performance for last. Squaring off against France and fellow PSG star Kylian Mbappe in what proved to be perhaps the most incredible World Cup final ever, Messi delivered an iconic performance, giving Argentina an early lead on a penalty kick, putting them ahead late in extra time with yet another goal, then converting his chance in penalties to help Argentina to their first World Cup title since 1986. For his efforts, Messi, who scored seven goals in the tournament, one behind Mbappe for the golden boot, received the golden ball, becoming the first player in history to be named the top player at the World Cup multiple times. And more importantly, Messi seemingly erased the last morsel of credibility to the argument that he isn't the greatest soccer player in history. And that isn't just me saying that. 
In the wake of Argentina's victory, pundits throughout the soccer world roundly declared that the GOAT debate is over and that Messi's World Cup title had definitively vaulted him past the only contemporary of his with a comparable resume, Cristiano Ronaldo. Meanwhile, Messi's title also thrust him out of the shadow of fellow countryman and World Cup hero Diego Maradona, stripping away the one claim to superiority that the late superstar had. And while Messi could ride off into the sunset today with his GOAT resume secure in the eyes of most, he may well add another major international trophy or two before he hangs up his spikes. After hoisting the championship trophy, Messi expressed his desire to continue playing for Argentina's national team, while his manager remarked that there'd be a roster spot for him for the 2026 World Cup. Regardless though, Messi's career has already been crowned, and even his haters now have to admit that there's not a single thing missing from his resume. But what say you? Does this World Cup victory solidify Messi's legacy as the greatest of all time? Or is there another soccer legend with a stronger claim? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. As always, we appreciate you. We'll see you next time.